So when I was 16, my first truck was a 94 Ranger, short box rig cab, four banger, five speed, blue. So I managed to find the identical truck for $400, an hour and a half away from here by Fairview. And uh, it said not running and driving, it needed a starter, so I put a starter in it. I put a new timing belt, and I did plugs, and I did a brake line that was cracked. I did a bunch of stuff, and it runs, but it's got no compression. I mean, no compression. I can just rotate it by hand with one hand, like it's nothing. Like this thing is tired. It uses two liters of oil every single fuel change, or uh, every time you fuel up, sorry. Um, but I'm not keeping this engine in it. The plan was always when I was a 16 year old was to put a small block in one of these, but that's been done a million times and I'm bored of the idea. So I'm going to put in that ro uh, rotary engine that I bought for a hundred dollars and And I'm going to redo the body on this thing. I'm not going to spend a ton of money on it. But I've already got sport rims and tires for it that I got off Kijiji for, for cheap. 200 bucks. And uh, I've got a box right there. 94 Ranger. All it's good for is the box and some parts. I'm going to replace the door. All that stuff. I've got all the parts. Put the RX-7 engine and transmission in it. Which will actually make the truck lighter. And eventually it will be... Whenever I'm done the bigger RX-7, the, the 13B twin rotor with the big turbo, that'll be the one that goes in here. This thing has no compression. I still continue to drive it, of course, because why wouldn't you? But, uh, because it runs like a top. And still just as bad on fuel as I remembered. It's about 15 liters per 100 kilometers, which is pathetic for something that has 90 horsepower. junk. hard to get your head wrapped around how that makes horsepower but but uh, basically yeah there's uh, two spark plugs and uh, on compression it collapses the air and then it fires both spark plugs one there and one there and uh, one of them is on I'm not sure exactly when it fires but it fires them both so that there isn't two flame fronts meeting each other detonation these are really really notorious for detonating from what i've read and it's uh usually because people get let these get all carboned up like this one is and then it causes pre-ignition i uh i have a lot to learn about this but uh i'm interested it's it's cool so i've got this thing almost ready to test run. I couldn't use the bell housing off the other one. I had to put the proper bell housing off this one, this 12A. Uh, there's compatibility issues. The starter didn't reach the ring gear. Anyway, so I had to put the whole transmission on. Everything's wired up with the exception of the coil wiring's not quite done. I have to do some research on this twin leading and trailing ignition system. And then it's full of oil. And now I've got a test run set up. Ignition on, fuel pump. Good to go.
timing is too far. I mean, that's just part of the deal, right? That is what we call a successful test run. I am totally smoked out two-stroke oil, which is excellent. It's not, it seems to be running okay. It needs some more tuning, of course, but like I said, I'm gonna have to buy a carburetor or rebuild this one. This one's, I'm actually amazed it's running as good as it is with that carburetor I got for free off a derby car. But uh, they even still make Carter carburetors? Anyway, uh, it seems to run good. Obviously, I'm gonna build a header for it. Um, but I have to build it once it's in the truck because I won't know my clearances. So for now, I'm just running it with the old factory manifold and yeah, it seems to run pretty good. It's getting a little easier to start all the time. Easy as that. It doesn't get much easier than that. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to call this a success thus far, and I've got some more fine-tuning and timing adjustments and everything to do, but uh, for the purposes of test running it, it's good. And don't worry about the, the, the leaks. Like, this is just some things I farmered up to, to test run it. Like, this is all test run stuff. It's not staying. But, uh, yeah, that's a victory. I'm thrilled. I'm going to have to get on uh, putting this in a Ford Ranger. Ranger!